brother. Hi everyone, it is the McLaughlin girl, and welcome back to another video. <laughs> Today is April Fool's Day actually, the 1st of April. So I thought, why not do a little cheeky prank on April Fool's Day? I forgot it was April Fool's Day to be fair. I saw my free page and Megan's coming in today. So I was like, you know what? This is a perfect opportunity to actually do a prank on April Fool's Day. And it'll be like, not as bad because it's April Fool's Day. So yeah, room update. Um, apparently Megan last time <laughs> mugged me off of my bedroom. Still like that. Do you know what? I just can't be asked. I don't really care. Did you guys know that apparently it's bad luck to say fools after 12 p.m.? I did not know that. I went to the gym today. Do I look better? Do I look conscious? Today, I'm going to be telling Megan that I no longer want to be part of the McLaughlin gals. Me and Megan are a duo. We do everything together. We have our McLaughlin girls page. We have our YouTube page. On Instagram, we're separate, but like we still do loads of things together. And today, I'm going to tell her I don't want to do that anymore. And I'm basically going to blame it on her and be like, oh, I just don't think we have a good friendship. Her reaction is going to be like, what the f***? She's going to be very confused. But it's funny. It's April Fool's Day. So once Megan gets here... Oh, sorry, I was just checking myself out. Let me put my jacket on because you guys are definitely getting distracted by my muscles and I want you guys to focus on the video and not on my muscles. Guys, what's happened to the UK weather, by the way, may I add? It was like sunny and now it's snowing. Why is the UK weather like a female? So, when Megan comes here, because she's meant to come here for filming today, I'm just going to set the camera off and be like, listen, Megan, I don't want to do this anymore. I don't want to be part of the McLaughlin girls. Um, you do what you want and whatever. Hopefully, it all works out well. I'm a pro at pranking now, guys. It could be rubbish. It could be really good. She could be like Millie at April Fool's Day. Who knows? Guess we're going to find out. Look at the breeze. Gloria. This is why I have no friends, because I think I'm funny and I'm not. I'm joking. I'm hilarious. Ah. Right, catch you in a bit. Right, so Megan has literally texted me a minute ago, right there, saying I'll be I'll be 20 minutes with angry emojis. I don't know why she put angry emojis. But uh, she's here in 20, so that just means it's waiting game, guys, and we just wait. While we wait, have you guys seen mine and Max's teddy bear? This teddy bear is called MJ, because in case you guys don't know, me and Max have the same initials, MJ. And then when you press her hand, I don't touch me, blood. Put me down. That's Max saying, don't touch me, blood. Put me down. And she smells like strawberries. Uh, just quickly, we actually went to Talkfest last week. If you didn't know, get to know. It's basically like a meet and greet and we met so many of you guys. You guys sold out in our merch in literally an hour. It's absolutely crazy. But Megan and I did film a few bits. So wait until the end of this video and you can see if you are featured in the video. So I will start the video when Megan is back. I'm literally gonna hide my camera underneath my TV with like loads of clothes around it because she wouldn't be surprised if she saw clothes everywhere. Let you know when she's here. I'm literally gonna get the camera bag, put it here, kind of. It'll be inside there, but she won't think anything of it because it's always there. Let me put you in here. Ow! Ooh! Uh, already got a bruise there as well, so that means it's gonna. Brilliant. It's coming. Hi. Hello. You okay? Oh, I'm so tired. Literally, I'm so much to do. I don't clean my house. Hey, baby! Why is this room always a fucking check? I'm not so much to do today. I know. What do we have to do? We sent a thing. So we've got Boo Avenue, we've got a few um, contracts to go over, and they want ideas for Married at First Sight bits and bobs. We've got a few events we've been invited to next week, but some dates I can't do, so we'd have to see which we'll ones we want to go for next week anyways, then I? Yeah, so just see which ones. Shut that window quick. We can go with you. It's a bit hot in my room, isn't it? I can't, I can't keep up, it's like sunny one day. And then it's like, ugh. I was just gonna quickly speak to you. How was Max going to Max's by the way? Oh, it's right, yeah, it's fine. I mean, when I was at Max's, he was like, he asked me to move in with him. No way. What, up here? No, in Cambridge. And then I was like, oh, but how am I going to do that? Because of the McLaughlin girls and that. And also, I don't have a car. So he was like, oh, no, no. And basically, we agreed that me and him thought that maybe I'll just stop doing social media and live with him. Just to be fair, I don't really want to do it now anyways. Are you going to laugh? No. Is this a joke? No, I thought you'd be happy for me. You're going to move to Cambridge and you're going to just stop everything. 
Yeah, or get a little job like near his. Get a little job near his? Yeah. You being serious? Well, yeah, you live with your boyfriend. No, yeah, but that doesn't life. stop my work. But it's just, I don't want to do it anymore. You don't want to do it anymore? It's like out of the blue. Don't want to do nothing. No, because or... I want to live with Max. Wow, such a smart idea. Uh, really why good. are you not being supportive? My I'm not being supportive. No, I'm not, because it's stupid. What's stupid? You even thinking that's a good idea. What? Not even, okay, fair enough, you don't want to do social media anymore, but then go in to live in Cambridge for, and get a little job that you don't even know, you've got no plan by the sounds of it. We've got so many people that support us and love what we do and you've always loved it. You can keep the McGotkin Girls page, I don't need to keep anything, you keep it all and you should do it by yourself. I don't want to do it by myself. We've done it together since the start. Yeah, but I don't want to do it anymore. I think you're being really selfish. How? Because, just because you want to move in with Max, tell Max to come and live up here. Yeah, but he doesn't want to. Well, what, so you, just because he, you got to just do what he says? No, but I want to live up there, it's better. It's better in Cambridge. Yeah. I don't even know what to say. I just think you need to just think about what you're saying before. Oh, I'm not, I know what I want to do, and I'm telling you. So you've made your decision? Yeah. We've just come back from Tockfest, we like, thousands and thousands of people and we've just basically announced like all the really cool stuff we're doing in the next couple of months things that we're potentially going to do we've worked for months and now you're deciding to just throw all that to a side for you to go and live in cambridge with max mm -hmm. with no plan with what you're doing whatsoever i don't even know why you're smirking right now because when you word it like that sounds not as good have you spoken to mum let me call my mum and tell her right now no. Yeah, I'm gonna call mum up and see what she says. It's got nothing to do with mum! Or you! I just don't wanna do it anymore. No, I'm speaking to mum. Especially that work. Well, you're not being very supportive. Here she is, calling. So, Millie's just sat here. She's sitting in front of me right now. And she's saying to me that she doesn't wanna do social media anymore. And she wants to go and live with Max. And she wants to give up everything we've done because she just doesn't want to do social media anymore. Shut up. That's what she's saying to me right now. Nah, uh, she's winding you off. She's got to be. She's not. She's, she's being serious. Like, what's happened? Like, what's happened? I just don't want to anymore. Have you got the face? No. And she's just turned around and said that she wants to move to Cambridge with Max and find a job. Just... Millie, listen, listen, listen to me right now. Okay, I can understand you, you want to be with Max because you're lonely in that book. You can't give up all that hard work. Are you joking? You work so hard on us, all your fans. I love you. Something must have happened. I don't believe what you're telling me. Something's happened. Nothing's happened. Well, you just wake up one morning and just say I don't want to do it no more. So something. I've been happened. thinking about it for a very long time. No, you're joking, are you? Just went to TikTok and invest, and it was the best weekend of your life. He said you loved it. You're Thank joking. you. That's what I've just said. I just said we just got back from Tuckfest. We've just literally had so many plans through the pipeline. Oh, no, I'm not having it, I'm not having it. Something's happened, Millie, so I suggest you just, like, tell me now because I know something must have happened because there's no way in a million years. I can understand the... No, you guys okay. aren't being very supportive to my decision. I just don't get your decision. That's what I'm trying to say. I just don't get it. If I, if I saw it coming, I'd be expecting... It's like a bit of a shock making me get upset now because I'm worried about you now because... Is something happened? Has well, Max said that? No, I just don't want to. Is it about Max? Is Max saying something to you? No, he didn't say anything. Well, why did you say this last week when I was there? Well, I didn't call you, Megan did. So I'm just, I'm so baffled to me coming here right now and she's just throwing this on me and I'm like, what? Last week. You were like, everything was perfect and you were planning your future and more things that you're going to do and now you're saying you don't want to do it. And someone sent something to you or someone, someone having a go with you or something happened with another TikToker or someone like that, Millie? Really. No. Just let her think about it or whatever. Well, no, honest to God, everyone loves you and I, I thought you were really happy. I just think, I think you need to have a think about what you're doing because... I've got like, I've got like tears in my eyes because I, can't, I just I couldn't believe like what you're saying to me now because... Yeah, and also I, it's not nice for me, Mill, because I, this is my whole life too. Like, everything I've worked for as well and you just I don't care. That's not, that's like, that's, that's obviously going to upset me so much. No, it's not even funny. Why are you laughing? Yay! It's a joke, bitches. April Fool's Day today, oh, okay. so okay. stupid. I can't cope. Fucking, are you joking? Mate, it's April Fool's Day. You really think I wasn't going to prank you? I hate you. Are you joking? It's funny. I mean, obviously, I'm not going to move to Cambridge. What am I going to do there? It's over there, Mum. 
What's that mean? The camera! And? It was all a joke! Do you know what, Millie? I'm not being funny sometimes. I wish I could go through that phone and grab you and go... <laughs> it's April Fool's Day, though. It's April Fool's Day. It actually is. I can't count. Okay. I'm done. I'm done. Human, do you know what? Next time, one of you is waiting for me and come up with some whatever drama. I'm just saying, stop, put the phone down. Because I can't cope with my blood pressure. And you have high blood pressure. I really thought you were just going to go and live with Max and live happily ever after. You've got plenty of time to do that, babe. Plenty of time. I know. Right, Mum. As if I'd moved to Cambridge. No offence to people that live in Cambridge. It's just not my vibe. All right, then, Mum. I'm just going to go kill your daughter one sec. Give me a punch from me. <laughs> Say bye. Ah, bye. I thinking, what the hell am I going to do now? What, you can't live without me? I can't. <laughs> Guess who's fed up with these bloody pranks? Guess who thinks these pranks are going too far? And guess who's going to prank Millie's ass hardcore next time? Happy April Fool's Day, guys. I hope you're all pranking Oh my god, look at the everybody. time, guys. Remember what I said to you at the beginning of the video that apparently it's bad luck to prank after 12. It's now 11.57. So... Millie, you did it again. You never I fail. Because I'm a legend. But I've only failed once, so as soon as you fail one time, we'll be on par. Oh, I need to cry. And then it's war. Biatch. This week's shout out is. Oh, oh it's cute. Ah! Congratulations! If you want to be next week's shout out, comment the word. Break up. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> Break up. <laughs> Are we going to be sharing them top first in this vlog? Yep. That's Three, good. two, one. We were meant to vlog the start of this, but we were stressing about our merch stand. And then the card machine didn't work, and then the, and then the, then the doors opened. And then we and lost Mia. So it's been a stressful morning, but we're, we're here. here at Top Fest. We have our meeting in half an hour. It's no 20 minutes. 20 minutes. <gasps> Can't even put into words how amazing that whole talk fest was. We love you guys so much. We have lots of things in the pipeline and that we can't wait to tell you. Yes, <laughs> and it's gonna be sick once it's all finished and we can actually tell you. Very excited. So if you want to keep up to date with all that stuff, make sure you follow us on sorry, <laughs> okay. make sure you follow us on Instagram and TikTok and obviously subscribe to the McLaughlin Gals. We'll see you next week at 6:30. 6 .30. Mm -hmm.